Hello, Debbie. Turnbull lost her teenage son Chris five years ago in a drowning accident on the River Conwy. She vowed then that she would do everything in her power to prevent another family going through the same nightmare. Since that time, she's dedicated her life to promoting education about water safety. Now, with the support of family and friends, she's developed the UK's first online water safety map. She's launched it this summer in time for the school holidays. But as Ian Lang reports, the future success of the site depends on just how much public support it attracts. It's a sadly familiar scene. Rescuers in the midst of a grim search for someone swept away in a Welsh river. The reality is despair, loss and grief. 15-year-old Chris Turnbull from Colwyn Bay drowned on August the 14th, 2006. He'd been mucking about with friends, completely unaware that he was at a danger spot on the River Conway near Capel Kirig. With the anniversary of his death approaching, his mother Debbie says he had no way of knowing the danger. You don't want anybody else going through that, do you? No, I don't. No. What is there really about water safety? And that's got to Not change. Not a lot. It's got to change. But Debbie Turnbull knew she had to do something. She's campaigned tirelessly for better water safety education, setting up her own organisation, speaking to thousands of school children. Her latest project is as ambitious as it is pioneering. The UK's first online water safety map, developed with her friend and supporter, website designer Paul Livy. It's only over the last year or so with the mobile technologies which is really going to make this absolutely relevant because people are going to be out there, they're going to have this information in their pocket. Uh, every other young person has got a, a smartphone and going forward in a year or two's time, there'll be, be very seldom that anyone hasn't got a smartphone with that mapping technology built into it. As well as official sources, they want the public to add information based on local knowledge, not only in Wales but around the UK. The information gathered, they believe, will save lives. Safety map has been made that it's easy for everyone people in the public eye, anyone to be able to operate it. It's the whole concept of it. It's easy to do and it's easy to get much needed, vital information out there that isn't out there at the moment. The project has strong backing from volunteer rescue organisations who regularly come face to face with the consequences of people simply not understanding the dangers. I've been involved personally with the teams and I've had 25, uh, sorry, 29 uh, people out of these lakes and rivers just in this area, in Snowdonia, you know. Uh, and if we can help educate these kids and adults about this, then it's, it's got to help, you know. What's vital now is the sponsorship and support to put this project on the map. Ian Lang, Wales Tonight. The directors of